The winds howled like ravenous wolves, clawing at the mansion's windows and doors. The sky had turned a murky shade of death, as if the clouds themselves were infected with the poison of a dying planet. The humans inside the mansion toiled like frenzied ants, their hands trembling as they performed ancient rituals in feverish synchronicity. Desperate to bend the forces of nature to their will, they attempted to tap into the wellspring of arcane ritualistic magic. Foolish in my opinion, but the humans had reached the brink of all possibilities. In their minds, only one remained. They hoped to wield their magic like a shield, protecting themselves from the deadly tornadoes that whipped over the land like whirling dervishes, collecting whole villages and tearing them asunder in the sky. The power they sought was shrouded in mystery, but the cause of the storms was clear. The human's terror and despair filled the room in a suffocating fog. Palpable, even to me, their pet healer monster. They frantically chanted and burned incense, eyes, hearts and minds fixed on the swirling maelstrom beyond. They knew that time was slipping through their fingers, that the approaching storms were an unstoppable force, an untamed beast. Still, they persisted, their faith in the occult a tiny ember of optimism amid planet Earth's ashes of despair. As the winds grew louder and the mansion creaked and groaned, I knew their efforts were futile. The tornadoes were a force unlike any other, a manifestation of nature's rage and fury, a living fist of God. And no matter the strength of the human's magic, it was but a flickering candle in the face of a raging inferno. As darkness enveloped the mansion, the humans fervently performed rites, their voices a hymn pleading to ancient deities for deliverance. Dirty fingernails protruded from their robes, their eyes rimmed black from sleeplessness. Despite the vortex's tumultuous force, they persevered in their prayers and offerings. Desperate faith, blind adherence, collective insanity. The atmosphere in the room was heavy with the aroma of burning mugwort and myrrh. Their voices, a harmonic confluence of terror and desire. The monotony of their chanting ensnaring me in a hypnotic trance. I curled my tail around to lay my head upon it and relaxed. The old mansion quivered like a violin bow and the screaming of the wind turned to a sweet song. As I lay in a fog of unconsciousness, my eyes locked with the house cat, Beowulf, who had been quietly watching from his perch atop a stack of sacred texts. Through the smoke of the mysterious herbs the humans were burning, Beowulf gave me a conspiratorial wink. Before I could decipher the enigmatic gesture, Beowulf stumbled and knocked over a candle, causing the flame to pirouette in the darkness. The humans seemed oblivious to the spilled candle, their focus fully absorbed in ritual. Eyes fixed on the altar, and hands moved with graceful purpose as they wove their spells. But as the fire's tendrils creeped across the room like a snake roused from its slumber, it became clear that something was awry. 
The flames licked and hissed at the corners of the room, the fire's hunger and intensity increasing with each passing moment. I inhaled the smoke and felt an intense desire to be one with the fire. And so I reached out and made contact. A strange energy coursed through my body. Something trembled within me like a kraken stirring in its watery grave. An ancient, dormant force. My body began to grow and change, my scales shimmering and shifting as I took on a new form. As the fire grew, so did I. My limbs elongated and new wings unfurled. My bones and muscles stretching and expanding to accommodate my new size. My head grew larger and dragon-like, my jaw widening and my teeth sharpening into deadly points. The fire raged, but I didn't burn. I was a phoenix rising from the ashes, a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis. My body was a canvas painted with brush strokes of smoke and flame. I was a shapeshifter, a changeling, a being of endless potential. My skin was a cloak, shedding its old self to reveal a new, shimmering version. My eyes were windows to a vast, untapped universe. My mind was a labyrinth puzzle waiting to be solved. My heart was a forge hammering a new path forward. I was a being of fire and magic, a being of transformation and renewal, a rip in space-time, born again, a force to be reckoned with, a being beyond human understanding. The wind continued to bellow with fierce shrieks, echoing the terrified cries of the humans. It poured a deluge outside and began to pour in through the cracks in the walls. A window shattered, setting off a cascade of exploding glass. I could sense their terror, their despair, as they realized their time was running out their rituals useless in the face of nature's fury. Yet they persevered, their voices lifting in a desperate chorus as they implored the ancient gods for protection. The few remaining candles danced in the breeze that blew through the smashed windows. Outside encroached. The voices strained to compete with the deafening roar of the tempest and the cracking of timber as the mansion slowly crumbled into the inferno. Desperate, they called upon all manner of deities, both ancient and new, but alas, no amount of magic or sacrifice could spare them from the impending disaster. Their magic had turned against them, and the end was imminent. All that remained was to see what fate had in store for them. How pitiable these reckless fools were. A carnal groan echoed in my belly as I felt a primal urge to feed. The call of the hunt reverberated in my ears, and so I devoured the humans, one by one, their screams of terror and despair painting the air as I feasted upon their bodies, relishing the taste of their hot blood as it cascaded down my throat. I tore flesh, I crunched bone. Death for the humans seemed to be a concoction of fear, hopelessness and relief. Beowulf, too, was devoured, reduced to a charred tangle of fur. 
As I grew larger and more formidable, my hunger intensified, fueled by the ancient memories of my ancestors that stirred within me. With each bite growing larger, I transfigured into a dragon. As I consumed them, their shadowy enchantments flowed through me, imbuing me with vigor and vitality. I was no longer a mere pet, but a being of fearsome power, commanding respect and awe. The dragon. The humans fumbling infants toying with powers beyond their comprehension were nothing more than sustenance for my insatiable appetite. The corpses of my prey accumulated around me. I knew myself to be invincible, my path unchallenged. As the final human crumbled to the ground, it was clear that the universe had irrevocably shifted. The tempest outside howled with rage, laying waste to all in its path. Like the tornado, I was intoxicated with sheer power, and I would not be sated until I had devoured everything within reach. I unfurled my wings, letting out a triumphant scream as I reveled in my newfound strength. With a burst of energy, I broke through the mansion's ceiling, splinters of wood scattering amongst the great grey columns of air that snaked along the plains outside. I was free, and I knew naught but destruction. I was the embodiment of the human's reckless tendencies. The land was mine to conquer. I set out into the devastated world, my senses heightened and my hunger driving me forward. And so, above the earth ablaze, I roam the land a nomad. My wings unfurled in flight as I survey my scorched domain. The horrors I unleash haunt the world like a ghostly presence. I am ruin. I am pandemonium. I am sorrow. I, the personification of terror, born out of humanity's folly and feasting upon its greed and hubris. The storms rage a never-ending deluge. The fires burn with devastation and magnitude. I set the kindling and I fan the flames. The few remaining humans can only hope to hide and wait for the storm to pass. But there is no escape from me and the storm will never pass. I am everywhere. I am the reckoning. I am the dragon. Coal black cloud chokes the earth. My flame is the only sun. One by one, all of the living creatures of planet Earth will make their journey to the land of the dead. Until I am the last one standing. Dawn of eternal night.